Hello, this is Maximo Trinidad from Sapien Technologies. In this video, we are featuring PowerShell Studio Cache Editor feature. Every time you download and install a PowerShell module, it will become available as long as the module location path is included in the module path variable. If you want to see where these modules are stored in your system, just run the following command in the PowerShell console. If you're building custom PowerShell modules, you must include the location in the module path variable. Notice that I got two SQL Server PowerShell modules location listed. This is due to having different version of SQL Server installed on my system. Let me show you. You can use the following command to list all modules and look for duplicates. And as you can see, I found some duplicate modules with different versions. Let's concentrate with the SQL Server ones. So in this case, I can go ahead and just list that particular module, see what version I have available. As you can see, you have a 1.0 and 14.0. So we're going to use the PowerShell Studio Cache Editor to choose the correct version before starting scripting. The first time you open PowerShell Studio, it will start building cache information, which takes a few minutes to complete. This will be shown on the object browser. Then we can proceed to click on the Edit Cache button. This will open the PowerShell Cache Editor. Now look for SQL Server PowerShell module. You'll notice there are two versions listed. If I check PowerShell Studio Object Browser, only version 1.0 is recognized. I want to use the latest version, so I use PowerShell Cache Editor to select version 14.0. After selecting the version I'm going to use in my script, I need to press the Build Cache button then go back to the object browser and verify I got the correct version available. Let's open a script and select the get module command to list all SQL PS module. As you can see, PowerShell will list the two existing SQL PS module installed in the system. So, using PowerShell Studio Object Browser is set to use the right version of SQL PS I selected. PowerShell Studio Cache Editor feature can help in selecting the module version before you start creating scripts. Now, the editor primal send feature enables the IntelliSense to come alive while start entering the command and speed up the scripting process. For more information, feel free to go online and visit our Sapien Technologies products, information center, and blog pages. Thank you very much.